But okay, Stealthy, you, you sent me... We're going to do the amnesia thing in a sec. But you sent this degenerosity video, Tipping Culture. 1080. All right. Degenerosity, what you got? Tipping. A generous act of courtesy you do when you're more than satisfied with the service you were provided. And you give them a little extra money. Usually you give these to your servers at restaurants, your barber, and strippers. Yo. Just as a way of telling them you're doing a good job. Go get yourself a nice pair of undies. And this overall thing is practiced all around the world. It's not exactly a foreign concept for anybody. Uh -huh. Tipping is a normal thing, but no place on earth lets it give out the tip more. Than the US of A. We go oh, no. X Games mode with the tipping over here, cause we be giving oh, everybody tips. We tip our delivery drivers, taxis, bellhops, housekeeping, house movers, bartenders. If you're an in-person service, then most likely you accept tips. Yep. Even my homie's last job at the gas station where he just pumped people's gas, he got over a hundred dollars in tips in one day. Dang. I didn't even know people tip for that. We love to Me tip neither. everybody except the homeless. But has it gone too far? Let me go off real quick. But I've okay. been seeing tipping options where I've never seen them before. Like counter services, you know, cashiers. I've never heard of tipping cashiers, but those blue blocks on the iPad beg to differ. One time I went... No, I feel like people started getting more tips because of that. You know, ever since Apple Pay started and now you can do tips, it kind of like forces people to think, All right, should I give a tip or should I not? And then when you say no and they see that, they give you this look. Why don't you give tip? Next time you come here, I'm going to spit in your food, piss in your drink, some doo-doo between your buns, <laughs> the, 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 uh, the, you know, the, the, the hot dog buns and burger buns, not actual sticking their doo-doo in your buns. But I know that America is known for this. It's, it's crazy. I don't really understand it. But I guess when it comes to like waiters, you know, and you're doing hard labor, maybe. Yeah. Tipping is cool. Homeless, that's just buy out the generosity of your heart. Piss some bleach and put it next to your table. Nah, that's a terrible combination. It might create an explosion. Beg to differ. One time I went to a concert and I went to the merch booth. I got a hoodie, bro handed me the hoodie, then turned around his iPad for a tip. Now Bruh. I know these people don't get paid too well, but what in that interaction concurred a tip? Mm -hmm. Did he slip me a hundred dollar bill in a hoodie that I didn't see? I don't think so. So I, nah, I don't <laughs> think I'm gonna tip. But I would usually see these in local businesses most of the time, so that's all fine and dandy. But I've heard Starbucks is also doing tips. Now, yep. I don't really go to Starbucks because it's just not for me. I like my coffee a certain way. I like my Americano. coffee how I like my men. Long, black, and Vietnamese. The and no offense to you Starbucks <laughs> employees out there, but I'm going to treat y'all like McDonald's and Burger King. Like, why would I tip the drive through cashier? That just sounds unnecessary. And as long as those restaurants oh, are not asking for tips, then I'm never going to tip. <laughs> Don't get no ideas, please. However, I understand why these workers would want a tip, though. They work low-wage jobs, and sometimes they got families to take care of at home. So mm -hmm. a tip or two would make their lives a little bit easier. That's true. That's but true. I'm selfish. I'm not trying to ah. tip at Wendy's, bro. But I know that day will eventually come. I can smell it. Come. He said it. But I'm selfish. I'm not trying to tip at Wendy's, bro. But I know that day will eventually come. I so uh this is a fun fact when i used to work at i i worked my share of many jobs as like fast food i worked at mcdonald's wendy's that's about it but multiple locations but wendy's though i actually got a actually no both at mcdonald's and wendy's i guess it was because i was well spoken and this was in baltimore so when i spoke like proper grammar people were like wow that interaction was so nice i, and I get like a 20 dollar tip i don't know if they're drunk or, or high or something but most of the times it's just like a, a, a older folk and they're like I, I appreciate you for being so polite you know talking to us and asking everything that we wanted and then i got a 20 dollar tip both times so i was like oh okay maybe come it, it, it depends you know yeah i was a well-spoken black man yes a well-spoken young black man in baltimore that, that that's that, 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 I guess that's a, a huge thing for me. Will eventually come. come. I can smell it. This is the U.S. We'll somehow it. incorporate tipping into everything, so the employers can justify why they're paying their employees minimum wage. And whenever someone doesn't tip, they get mad at us instead of the business that's giving them a non-living wage. That's why <laughs> tipping is super pushed. So restaurants, for example, can pay their waiters low salaries to encourage them to aim for tips. So. The
You know what's crazy though? I've been I worked uh, a little bit of DoorDash and like recently, and since I'm out here in Hawaii, people are really generous, so I get a lot of tips out here. I I don't know how it is for some people in some places for not getting tips, but out here it's not bad. Not gonna lie, but the cost of living is a lot. So I mean, I guess I appreciate the tip, and I guess it's necessary. The waiters have to be as upstanding top for example can pay Hawaii. their waiters low salaries to encourage them to aim for tips so the waiters have to be as upstanding top of their tippy toes holly jolly of a worker as possible to try to get ends meet so the customer can walk away feeling happy about their experience the owner of the restaurant being happy because of the profit and good look of the business mm -hmm. while the waiters walk away with a two dollar tip and food stamps for a salad Bruh. Or at least that's just my theory. My what game theory. Now people that have never had a job might say, ain't that a good thing? It makes the waiters actually try to do their job well, bro. Ain't nobody wanna work minimum wage, period, bro. No. In this economy? Doesn't no. matter if I'm getting tips. All it takes is one bad day of penny pinching tips to be like, well, Scoob. I guess we have to eat whatever's in the fridge tonight. Jeez. I should know. I used to be a waiter. I was a waiter for weddings and other events in my late senior year. And my wage was decent, 15 an hour. And for a high school student, no, that's oh, pretty that's good. Actually Plus, not bad. I only worked on the weekends. Man, this job was going to be a breeze. But that was only because I was a kid. I ain't need that much in the first place. True. All I thought is, if I can afford food, so. But to spoil the fun, most of the time, I did not get any tips or very little tips and 95 percent of my gigs ah. was at weddings so the food was already paid for i was giving these niggas free food and i got nothing and i was always all nice and shit. i was never mean i was all like hello hot diggity day what would you lovely people like to have mm -hmm. i thought i was doing a good job i Me even too. shaved off my hair to be more presentable Yo. which is something i still regret to this day don't cut the hair you love for no jobs Unless it look like this, you, you might get no job with that. I did get tips sometimes. <laughs> the biggest tip I've ever. Hey yo, let, let me get that half cut. Hey, what, what you mean? That half cut? Say less. Like this, you, you might get no job with that. I did get tips sometimes. The biggest tip I've ever gotten was forty dollars from a table of old white women and a gay dude, and from then on, oh. they became my target audience. I'd always pick the table with the gay niggas, cause I know they'd give me the biggest tip. And me complaining <laughs> about small tips might sound like a trivial problem, but I'm talking about like in the grand scheme of things of this kind of job. Like if I was an adult with this job, paying bills, oh, taxes, rent, all that, I I could not live like this. I know this cause I had. Co-workers in their late 20s, 30s, 40s who said they couldn't take care of themselves with this wage. Dang. That's why they sold drugs on the side. That's why we should hold these businesses accountable <laughs> to have higher wages for their employees so they don't have to rely on tips anymore. True. We must rise against this corrupt business <laughs> practice. Who's with me? Let's go. Hey, hey, you're just saying this because you just don't want to pay Oh, nobody. Anymore. Well, duh. I don't like tipping. Who does? Who wants to pay more of their own money when they don't have to? I'm not a misogynist, the masochist. Wrong word. I, I ah, the other one. Ah. I'm not saying I don't tip. I do. But mainly because I want to at least try to balance out my good deeds with my bad ones when I'm in the pearly gates. I'm not trying to Yo. go to hell because I didn't tip my IHOP way. That's not the reason why I tip. I tip because I feel like some people deserve the tip. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you, you did some good service. You're a waiter. You, you need some tip. This is what you, you make your living off of tips and your minimum wage. So here you go. Here's a five. That's what I usually do. But uh, some people don't think the same. <laughs> this is his job. They're supposed to do work. Not if you know how the system is built. I didn't tip my IHOP waitress who so happened to be battling cancer and diabetes that one time. Dang. I'm trying to get to heaven. But if I gave zero darns, dangs, or f I would almost never tip. I would look at the bill, then pay the bill, then end it there. I would only tip if I received outstanding service. Because, you know, most services nowadays are just average, you know, regular stuff. Nothing to point out. Yo. But you still supposed to tip. <laughs> In a perfect world, I would only tip if the person is enthusiastically nice. Fast service. Give me a back massage and also hey. pay for my food then i would tip i can yep. understand tipping delivery drivers because they also need the money to pay huh? for their gas but that can go with the higher wage argument that i said earlier and if they show up mad late then i don't have to tip them we should bring back the 30 minutes or less or the food is free rule i'd start ordering food from russia on purpose take myself <laughs> a stack 
And like I said earlier, I know these people need these tips to survive. I know they have mouths to feed. I know. I feel you. I feel you. You feel but it. But in the back of my if mind, I know I have mouths to feed too. Mm -hmm. My own mouth. And tipping is slowly taking that away from me. Now I'm gonna mm. starve. And remember mm. earlier when I said tipping is not a foreign concept? Well, apparently it is to most countries. Every yeah. time I look See? in a comment section for a post regarding tipping, 90% of the comments will be from foreigners saying, well, over here in Timbuktu, Jumanji land, we never even heard of tipping. I didn't even know Jumanji was a real place, but it sounds like heaven if they don't tip. And it makes me think the people of Bruh. the U.S. here are purposely fucking me with this tipping shit. It's to be expected we tip 20 to 25 percent of the bill here. You, you I didn't know it was that much. But when I talked to a lot of my foreign friends when, it, when I was in college, they were like, what is tipping? It's like you give money for doing their work. I was like, yeah, that's. Look at America. <laughs> this is America. <laughs> how do you do there? But uh, I mean, I still tip because that's just, I guess that's how it is. You know, like how culture is where you're from. If it's tipping culture in America, it's like, then I guess just go with it because you're here at our home. Like you wouldn't want Americans to act a fool up in where you're, where, you know, where you, where, you know, your home. I always say that. But I don't know. People will not think that way. Freedom. Yeah. Freedom. Yes. It shall set you free. But I always say it like that. Like, you know, when you go to like Japan, if you go into China, you go into Africa, you want to, you know, there's unspoken rules there that you don't know of. So you got to, you know, you got you to you gotta, you gotta work with them. You can't bring America to their country. And that's what a lot of Americans get messed up. And that's what, and then a lot of foreigners hate those Americans that bring America to their country. It's like, Come on, bro. This is our house. You're just going to put your feet on the couch. You know, you know that Rick James meme? Yeah. To 25% of the bill here. You, you have a better chance pulling a gun on me and robbing me because that's the only way you're going to get that much money out of me. And I've been seeing news reports about how there's a spread of self-checkout machines with tipping options. Ah. Who the hell am I tipping? Mr. and Mrs. Walmart themselves? Why they need my money? Why they need a tip? This is true. So check out tipping machine out there. Cause suck the tip of my beep beep. That's what you could do. And like I said earlier, I do tip my delivery drivers oh, oh. and waiters. I do. But I hate tipping. I bloody hate it. If I could abolish it, I bloody hate it. I hate it. I feel you. However, I know it's the right thing to do. Mm. Or at least I was raised to believe if I don't tip my waiters, I'm a d Which I don't really believe uh -huh. now, but I begrudgingly admit tipping won't kill me. So I still tip. How much I tip? None of your beeswax. And even though I tip most of the time, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna tell y'all you should tip. You could do whatever you want with the money you've earned. Like I could be spending my money on helping the children in Africa and building houses there. But how else am I supposed to pay for my drip? I need money for my clothes, man. Those what? kids in Africa, they're not going to pay for me. But yeah, those are my thoughts on tipping. <laughs> Employees need better pay so I can stop paying. And in conclusion, elements of surprise. Oh, all right, what's did up? Did you pray today? Hey, did, did you, you pray, pray today? today? Cause no, if you did it, I'ma have to take you down on some gangster shit. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't see that me once today in the me video, but he's right. I mean, I know some places don't like the tipping culture out here in America, but that's our culture. You know, if you hate it, then my bad. Y'all going to go back home anyway. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs>